Okay, in exercise C, we're going to take a look at diffusion again, but in this case, we're going to see if we can observe diffusion happening across a membrane, like what would happen uh, in or out of a cell, uh, things getting across the membrane of the cell. Uh, we can't see that kind of thing happening at the cell level, of course, so what we have instead is some plastic tubing that will be very similar in characteristics to the cell membrane in that it is selectively permeable. This is called dialysis tubing, and it will let certain size molecules across the membrane of that tubing and block the passage of others. And so, similar kind of idea to what a cell membrane does. What we're going to do in this experiment is we're going to take a piece of this tubing and we'll tie off one end of the tubing, like you see in this case here, and we're going to fill the tubing with a little bit of um, starch solution that we have here and glucose that we have here into the tube. And then we're going to tie the tube off at the top, making like a little water balloon with the solutions in it, okay? Once we have that set up, we're going to place the little water balloon of tubing into a beaker of iodine and water, like you see here, and let it sit for the time period that is instructed for you to observe this uh, in your lab manual. Once that time period has finished, what we're going to do is take and make some observations of what we see here at the end versus what that tube looked like at the beginning. Not only the tube contents itself, but also the beaker contents here, as you see. And clearly there's a difference from start to finish inside that tubing that we want to uh, think about and explain what's going on with that. And then we want to test to see if possibly anything has come out of the tube of the solutions that we put in. Um, and so we can test with uh, Benedict's reagent to see if any of the glucose molecules that we had placed inside the tube has made its way out of the tube into the iodine solution in the beaker. We'll take a little bit of that beaker solution and place it in a test tube with Benedict's reagent. Remember, we have to incubate for this test a little bit to get things rolling and then see if we get a result with that test of what was inside the tubing. We're also going to test what is in the beaker itself, the iodine solution, and if anything's gotten out into that iodine solution as well uh, with the same test to see, again, has glucose moved one way or the other, and uh, the Benedict's reagent will help us do that.